Hey, what's up, guys? We are back in again, ready to play all goblins inside of Clash Royale. This all goblin deck is actually viable. If you go in for a goblin giant and then lightning away all of your opponent's buildings, you can get a tremendous amount of damage with the spirit goblins, dark goblin, and the goblins on top of the goblin giant. I can't wait to mirror up as many goblin huts as possible to spam spear goblins at our opponent relentlessly and get double goblin barrels for double the fun. As soon as my opponents counter the first goblin barrel, they're not going to be ready for the second one. I'm really happy that I made an all goblins deck that actually works in Clash Royale, and maybe we can start adding some more goblins as the video progresses. Let's go jump straight to some games and assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And a huge thank you to everyone that's using credit code sir tag, making all the daily videos possible. To jump into this one with the Green Goblin Group. Every single one of our cards are gonna be formed with the best troop. I'm excited. Spear Goblins do them dirty. Come on now. So we know exactly what we're playing against. It's gotta be a P.E.K.K.A. deck, right? It has to be P.E.K.K.A. When we see Bandit and opponent cycling that ferociously at the start, what other deck could it be? Ooh, okay, so if we're playing against someone that has a P.E.K.K.A. player, I think it's going to be better for us to go in for Goblin Barrels as much as possible. Unless he's got the Ram Rider variation with uh, Bar Barrel. But even in that case, I can mirror off the Goblin Barrel. That's going to work out wonderfully, right? Yo, you Electro Wizard way too early. Are you kidding me? Look at how much damage I got. Did I actually just do that much? That's insane. Oh, I need to get Spear Goblins down so then the Electro Wizard and the Ram Rider don't kill the Dark Goblin. Dark Goblin, stay alive. Let's go. The fact that the Green Goblin group is never dying out here is really a testament to their strength. Also, this is really ridiculously risky. I don't think that's a good decision, but he didn't have what I thought he had. I thought a Pekka was going to get plopped down, but that's a cannon card. And if the cannon card dies on his side of the map, that would be stellar. It would be so good for me. No, you literally had one job card. No way. No, 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 no. Come on, Green Goblin group. I know you can kill the cannon card before it locks onto my tower. I know you want to. Oh, it didn't happen. It is what it is. We're taking a ton of damage, and I will be zen with our situation. I'm dying. Help me. It's going to go full circle for our opponent if we're able to get a juicy lightning off in the later stages of the game. So now I figured out what his deck is. I'm not near as scared as I was before. Fireball came down, so maybe he's down a bit of elixir. I always want to go for the Goblin Barrel off to the side. If he's going to maybe end up having a bar barrel, he's going to miss, and then we get a hit. But we'll take that trade any day of the week. And then I can go in for a Goblin Giant and then log. Can I log or can I not log? Oh my gosh, I'm a potato. I totally thought I had enough elixir for the log there. Yo, I got you baited so hard. Wait, the Magic Archer is going to die. Was this a good decision for me? Was this somehow a good play, even though it was, wasn't good? I mean, I'll just say it was calculated in the end, okay? You guys are picking up what I'm putting down. Even if it wasn't calculated, you say it was calculated. Two green goblin huts. Let's go. We are making the planet a better place. More goblins equals more dismay for our opponents. It's a simple math equation if you guys haven't seen it before. All right, so I want to go in for a goblin barrel again off to the side. I wonder how much value we're going to get off that. Yo, he misses. He misses. No way. No way. That's what I'm talking about. If I'm able to lightning here, I think he's going to lose the magic archer and he loses the electro wizard. Ah, so that's not good. I need to probably defend like that and then i can cycle back to another one because i've got the mirror oh he's not gonna expect that i don't think he's ready so he's gonna go in for a ram rider right into another goblin hunt i firmly believe that this is gonna work out let's go guys we have perfectly planned our situation carefully crafted our maneuvers and i believe that we can strive for greatness out here oh my gosh i don't know if it's gonna work anymore <laughs> stop why'd you hit my tower like that Oh, wait, the Magic Archer's gonna die. Maybe. Maybe we still have a chance. Maybe we can do the dance. If the Dark Goblin locks on a tower, I win the game. Wait, the Goblin Giant. The Goblin Giant, though. Is that enough? It should be enough. Don't troll me. Let's go. First game down, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I really thought I lost that because of the Ram Rider connection, but somehow the Green Goblin group bounced back. When you go green, you turn it into a machine and you can't be stopped. It was hilarious playing an all goblin deck and actually winning on ladder, but we got to level up our goblin game and get into grand challenges to play an eight goblin deck. Five goblins and a deck is pretty mediocre. We can do better than that. Unfortunately, some of our other goblins are not leveled up, so we need to go into grand challenge to play them. If I play level 12 and level 13 goblins, I'm just going to lose on ladder with an eight goblin deck. So let's go jump straight to some grand challenges and assert dominance. All right, we have ascended to the chaos of eight goblins. Let's see what this deck can whip up. 
So first things first, we got to go for the spear goblins. We got to go test the waters with them. Get their sharpened spears on top of the tower and make sure that they know we've got the sharpest tools in the shed. I firmly believe if you're playing against someone that's got an electric dragon, they're likely going to either have a balloon or an elixir golem deck. Hmm, is that right? So it's important to make sure that they don't have that much elixir because, I mean, I've only really got dark goblin for a lot of damage per second. So, ooh, wait, what, what are you doing? I, I'm going to make sure that you go every which way. We're going to descend you into chaos, bro. Oh, the Inferno Dragon. No, it locked onto it. I thought we were chilling. But the good thing is he doesn't have Tornado. So I could drop the Goblin Barrel directly on the tower and not worry. Awesome start to the game. All things considered, I can totally vibe with the situation. Oh, if he balloons, can I activate King Tower with like a Goblin Cage and then a... Have I ever done that placement before? No, no one runs Goblin Place plays Goblin Drill. <laughs> No one does this. We are being our own demon out here. This is going to be hilarious. Oh, another good thing is he doesn't have anything to defend us with a building, right? So he doesn't have a building to go and stop the goblin cage. He doesn't have a building to stop the goblin giant. So those two things are going to be really good if they can get on top of the tower. It's going to be hard for him to distract that. Also, the Dark Goblin might kill the Electro Dragon too. Yeah, that worked out wonderfully. If I made the prediction and I did that earlier on... That would have been stellar. I could have spear goblins at the river, kept the dark goblin alive, won the battle at the river, and then made him shiver with another goblin drill on offense. It's the dentist that you never want to see, man. He's drilling, and he's drilling for some gold out here. He's going to take down your tower. Wow, this is the most scuffed goblin gang I've ever created. Spear goblins and goblins separately. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is the saddest lumberjack balloon push that I've ever seen in my life. Those two, they're supposed to be inseparable. I mean, Valentine's Day is just right around the corner. And uh, apparently... <laughs> he just left him like classes over. But it's like, I hate you, Lumberjack. I'm sorry. I'm going to go a different direction in life. We can never be friends again. Just broke up right then and there before Valentine's Day. That, that must be brutal, man. So with 44 seconds remaining, because I've got... So many defensive sequences, there's no way that this guy's coming back. 12 seconds later. Well, I'm really happy to win that one. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so jumping into this one, we're going to see what's happening. What is going down, my dudes? So with the eight goblin green machine, we got to make this happen. Got to get that cheeky chip. So when we see Zap, I'm very happy if that's the only small spell that you have. But it could get twisted and turned real quick if you're going to have some other spells up in here. Oh, fireball. Wait, I think this is going to be a P.E.K.K.A. deck. This has to be P.E.K.K.A. Right, when you see Royal Ghost and Zap and Fireball, instead of having Poison, now people are running Fireball because there's a lot of Fireball bait in the meta. Whether it's going to be Magic Archer, Royal Hogs, you got to have Fireball to counter those cards. So I'm going to go for a Goblin Drill. Ooh, wait, this could be really spicy if I go in for a Dark Goblin as well because I think he's going to go for a Bandit. No, he Pekka's instead. Oh, is the Dark Goblin to kill the Electro Wizard? No way! That was a three Elixir card sniping a four on our opponent's side of the map. I've never had that happen before. Dark Goblin, you're the MVP of my heart, my soul, and this game, bro. You are insane. Because at the end of the day, long as there's two people left on the planet, someone is going to want someone dead. So I wonder if the goblins uh, dropped in that particular placement would be better. I think the spear goblins are going to walk up, so then when he goes in for that, he's not going to be able to get any damage. And then, because he doesn't have Peck and Cycle, we go in for the green goblin giant. Shrek is about to pounce and party on the tower. This is hilarious. When people play against a stupid eight goblin deck, and they're at eight or nine wins at a grand challenge, what do you think they're thinking? I, I just want to see the look on this guy's face right now. Yo! He really did it! He did it! It's so much fun. I love running all goblins right now. This is my new motto. This is a lifestyle. Go green and you'll never go back. The green goblin group assimilating everyone into the root into the world. You guys are gonna be in camouflage. Oh my gosh. What do we do? Um I think we can go goblins again. Well, I guess that's the answer for everything. What am I gonna do? I'm always gonna go for goblins. <laughs> if you don't know, now you know. I guess that's always the strategy, guys. Why would it be anything different? Oh, man. We're, we still haven't taken any damage. I don't know how this has happened. We're, we're at nine wins in a grand challenge. Zero damage taken. The world may never know, but this is a figment of this guy's imagination or maybe his nightmares that he's playing against us now. So I can go in for a goblin drill. Ooh, that's kind of bad. Hmm. I'm wondering if I go other lane here with goblins. 
And then, oh, oh, I mean, of course with God. I need to stop saying that right now. I'm <laughs> just getting annoyed by myself saying with goblins. <laughs> I'm going to go for the uh, Dark Goblin and regular stabbies on defense. And I think that we do enough damage to the tower there. Do not have to worry about it. I'm going to go Goblin Drill back and pull everything to the side. Maybe we can shimmy and shake and make this man miserable. We'll have to wait and see how well this works. If we can go in for a Gang Gang and then go in for a Goblin Giant to go and kite to the other side. If you want to go for an Electro Wizard, I think we're okay here. Um, the only thing that is, you know, a little bit inconsiderate is uh, seeing how many Magic Archers he stockpiled. I don't like that. Wait, are we going to lock on with the, the Goblin Giant to the point that I can just win afterward? I guess probably should defend this. Just probably. You know, it's, it's a little bit scary, but eh, we've got too many goblins. It doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> so much fun. Probably really not fun for our opponent. I wish I had lightning or a big spell because, like, last game I had a big spell. So ridiculously easy. Now I have to go in for Shrek Boy, hope our opponent doesn't fireball, and then go for the Goblin Giant plus Goblin Drill afterward. Oh, he didn't have Elixir to fireball because he used Magic Archer and he used P.E.K.K.A. Wow, that is so memey and dreamy. I love this deck. It destroys P.E.K.K.A. players. If you're running the classic P.E.K.K.A. deck, guess what you can get countered by? All goblins. Hey, yo, we got some games here against G.S. What are you going to do? Oh, please, please, please. Another P.E.K.K.A. player, maybe. We see a royal ghost in the back. Oh, wait, this is not the P.E.K.K.A. deck that we've played against before. It's different. It's a different breed. Please do not have Barbro and Snowball. We already saw one of the menacing cards that we didn't want to see because it blows back all of our goblins <laughs> and annihilates our goblin barrel, actually, which usually would not happen. Ooh, he's going to have the Ram Rider variation. Why? Why are we getting tested now? We destroyed a P.E.K.K.A. player because we had a great matchup, and now, looking at the game, I'm like, ah, uh, not so good. All right. Uh, Inferno Dragon. Ooh, maybe not P.E.K.K.A. Could be Mega Knight. Usually, P.E.K.K.A. does enough firepower to the fact that you don't need to have the Inferno Dragon for even more firepower, but maybe this man is just arms heavy. He's just all about nuking everything that he possibly can. I don't know. We'll have to figure out what this guy's strategy is. But usually in Inferno Dragon, it's a recipe for the best Mega Knight deck that you could create. So I'm going to go in Bruh. for the Goblin Drill. He's going to miss the Snowball on everything, which is unbelievably hilarious. And because I feel comfortable going in for Spear Goblins to assassinate the Mega Knight or the Inferno Dragon, I'm going to play really aggressive right now. I'm feeling frisky right now. Let's go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No way. I, there's no way I win this game. There's no way I beat P.E.K.K.A. and then I beat Mega Knight. That would just be too lucky. I, I haven't even taken any damage. We're nine wins in a grand challenge right now. This is insane. This is literally incredible. I'm incredulous. I'm going to go in for a Goblin Gang at the river. We're going to test the waters again. See if we can get a Royal Ghost or a Barbrill. Oh, Spear Goblins are still going to lock onto the tower. Oh, I don't have any real direct damage. I just noticed that. I just... The only direct damage I have... It's quite a for a Goblin Drill. <laughs> so I guess I do have some way of finishing off the tower. How much damage did I even do? It doesn't tell me. I Look at that. Look at that. I'm, I'm holding it down. It just tells me the health. That's that's really useful, Clash Royale. That's really useful, game. <laughs> it doesn't want me to win. It, it literally wants to encode everything and put it on hard mode for me. Okay, so uh, maybe we can go for a Goblin Gang here. So then the Dark Goblin's going to stay alive. Oh, wait. The Dark Goblin just died. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. For spear goblins. I'm going to go in for a goblin giant, kite everything the other side again. Uh, I got to wait for that to lock, and then we can go in for a dark goblin, and then maybe... Oh, dude, are you kidding me? Please tell me that didn't just take out my entire tower. Oh, it didn't take out my entire tower. And listen to me. It's to me, a tower. Oh, no. That tower is gone. Unless... Unless... Unless the green goblin gang of justice... No, I should have pulled it to the king tower. I think I would have won then. If I had pulled that to the King Tower, I think I would have been able to survive for seven more seconds, or would I have lost the tower? I'm definitely going to lose right now. Oh, no, I would have lost there, too. Okay. <laughs> if I was able to defend against the Archer Queen on the left-hand side, and I pulled the Mega Knight towards the King Tower, I would have won the game. But uh, that wasn't possible, either. So GG and well played our opponent. We will bounce on the next one, and we will see if we can end on a resounding W. It was fun while it lasted. I totally thought I was going to win that through the middle of the game. But sometimes dreams just come crashing down with a big fat Mega Knight jumping on you. 
Hey, yo, we got a game against Brandon. We have met our next victim. Hopefully, we can bounce back after that loss. I refuse to lose two times in a row, baby. So, goblins at the river. Make him shiver. Let's get that cheeky chip. Also, I think that the goblins are going to give us two hits, so I'll take that. Ooh, okay. So, when I see Zappy split in the back, usually that means one of two things. Graveyard or Rail Hogs, Rail Recruits. Usually, Rail Hogs, Rail Recruits, because that's the stronger variation of Zappy's decks. But we will wait and see if he's going to actually have any other standard stuff or if he's going to be a shenanigans. So I'm going to go in for the Goblin Giant. I can go in for a Goblin Drill too. If he can't, drops the Cage, I think it dies to the Spear Goblins and the Goblin Giant. So then the Goblin Giant goes directly towards the tower. Yo, the recruits aren't able to stop the back. The front is going to be guarded, but the back that is left right open for backdoor donuts, my dude. We are eating you like a snack. That is so much damage. I love it. I love it. That was delicious. That was scrumptious. No, I hate that card. I really hate that card. It's going to dash onto everything. It's Why you always got to be so mean to me? It's so fundamentally unfair. And that is literally the reason why I don't run Goblin Gang in my real decks on ladder. It's specifically because of the Golden Knight. I think that's one of the few reasons why I think that the Goblin, like the Mirror Goblins challenge is so difficult, right? Like you can't rely on your goblins because they're just going to die to the golden knight it is so easy to just chain on all the cards he's like an electro spirit and a bandit built in one that's kind of my best description of it let me know down below in the comment section if you guys this would be like it does some like dragon ball z combo fusion or if you guys are just like no jake you're tripping right now you're you're on something <laughs> wait why would he arrows on the king tower did he feel bad for me or something i mean you do have golden knight but you, you arrowed on my King Tower after playing against a lot of really good players. What is happening here? Oh my gosh. I, I feel like he's trying to make it a little bit more of a challenge for himself. That's really the only reason. Oh, wow. The disrespect coming from our opponent. So, we can go in for goblins here if we wanted to. Yeah, I think we got to go in for goblins to kill the Golden Knight quicker. So that it can't dash onto my stuff again. Oh, he missed! They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Dude, he pulled it every other time! How did he miss that? I'm so confused. Are we gonna take the tower here? No way, no way, no way. No, one HP? No, 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 dude, I don't have any way of doing damage besides the goblin drill. This is fine. I don't have any damage besides doing the goblin drill. No, I want it. I, I need the goblin drill on defense. I, I need to win this game. No, no, I got drag glitch! I got drag glitch! I don't know if you guys saw that, but I dropped a card and it didn't drop. For the benefit of those who may have missed that, we will show it again through the magic of the instant replay. Oh my gosh, I can't. I, I, I need to take the tower. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My feelings, my brain, everything is decomposing by the second. This deck is eroding every sense of sanity that I have. No way. The arrows are coming down, but I think we're okay. I don't think he's able to break through. Let's go. <laughs> that one HP tower was toying with me the entire time. That was the biggest troll level I've ever seen in my life. And then when I was dropping buildings and then it went back into my hand and just said, nope. nope. That was a little bit scary. Not going to lie. Drop glitch is not my best friend. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more daily content, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. 